meaning that it is able to diagnose 30 to 50 percent patients only in heart disease. Similarly, Eco and TMT has 60 to 70 percent diagnostic accuracy, while there are two tests only which are having more than 90 percent diagnostic accuracy, namely coronary angiography and stress myocardial perfusion scan. Coming to coronary angiography. It is an invasive or operative test. Hospital admission is must for 24 hours. It has some side effect. It gives only anatomical details of the blockage. Where is the blockage? How much is the blockage? It does not tell about irreversibility of hard muscle damage caused by blockage of the vessel. Coming to stress myocardial perfusion scan. It is a non-operative test. Hospital admission is not required. There are no side effects. It tells also about reversibility of the heart muscle damage whether the heart muscle damage is permanent one or temporary one if it is permanent one it is not going to be improved after surgery so prior to surgery it is must to know about the reversibility of the heart muscle damage this is a machine of spect in which stress myocardial scanning is done Coming to procedure of stress MPI, medicine is injected in the arm, it is given twice, first during stress and second time during stress or exercise. Then scanning is done in the spec machine in three different angles, namely horizontal short axis, longitudinal vertical axis and longitudinal horizontal axis. Images are taken both in stress and rest phase. If a particular vessel is blocked, then the area supplied by it will not be clear, it will not be visible, there will be a gap. If defect is seen both in rest and stress, then it is a fixed defect and if defect is seen in stress only, then it will be a reversible defect or temporary defect. Coming to three different planes in which scanning is done. This is the horizontal short axis plane. In this heart, it looks like a round and circular shadow. This is a horizontal long axis view. Heart looks like a U shape. This is a vertical long axis view. Heart looks like a C shape. Patient is kept like this in the machine. These are the three images seen in different angles. One is the round and circular shadow in the short axis view. This is a U-shaped shadow in the horizontal long axis view. Another one is C-shaped shadow in vertical long axis view. This is also a short axis view. Heart looks like a round and circular shadow. This is again a horizontal long axis view. Heart looks like a U-shape. This is again a vertical long axis view. Heart looks like a C-shape. This is a complete picture showing images in three angles. In short axis, round and circular shadow. In vertical long axis view, C-shaped shadow. In horizontal long axis view, U-shaped shadow. This is a reversible defect seen in the short axis view during stress only. This is a normal scan showing in short axis, vertical long axis and horizontal long axis. There is no gap in the round shadow in short axis view. There is no gap in the C-shaped shadow in vertical long axis view and there is no gap in the U-shaped shadow in horizontal long axis view. This is another normal scan. This is a reversible defect seen in the vertical long axis view in the anterior portion of the heart. This is also another normal scan. There is no gap seen in the round circular shadow, no gap in the C-shaped shadow, no gap in the U-shaped shadow. This is a fixed perfusion defect seen during both stress as well as rest in the inferior part of the heart. This is a reversible defect or temporary defect seen in the stress phase only it is seen in the inferior part of the heart. Coming to medical treatment, 
in the medicines important one is anti cholesterol medicine called atorvastatin or rosvastatin it is given in a higher dose then we control risk factors like blood pressure sugar or smoking then we stress on lifestyle modification in this regular exercise or walk for half an hour mind relaxation exercises dietary modification like low fat diet high fiber diet more fruits and vegetables no junk food prior to medical treatment all patient of chronic stable angina are subjected to non operative test called stress mpi as i earlier told you following groups are identified after stress mpi patient with reversible perfusion defect patient with fixed perfusion defect patient with both reversible and fixed perfusion defect all three groups are given above mentioned medical treatment and repeat scan was done after 3 months of the treatment coming to the result of medical treatment it was very clear that 70 to 80% patients in all groups have significant improvement in their symptoms of chest pain and breathlessness within few days after start of medical treatment it is a very significant figure 80% patients of reversible perfusion defects have near complete disappearance of the perfusion defects meaning that in this percentage of patients there is significant reduction in the blockage to less than 50% this is an abnormal scan of a patient treated by me in this patient there is reversible defect seen in the anterior and inferior part of the heart this patient was given medical treatment and the repeat scan was done after 5 months of the treatment this is the post medical treatment of the same patient in this scan it appears nearly normal because now there is no gap in the anterior inferior part of the heart what do we conclude from this heart vessel blockage can very well be significantly reduced by medical treatment as proved by my study and asteroid study as i earlier told you there was significant reduction in the symptoms of coronary heart disease like chest pain and breathlessness after medical treatment and it is equal to that of surgical treatment there is significant reduction in the incidence of few what message we get in all patients of coronary heart disease first line of treatment should be medical treatment except in heart attack patient of first 24 hours angioplasty and bypass surgery should only be done with medical treatment fails thank you